Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. And this? It's Henry Taylor with Nature at Your Door. And Henry's my grandson. And we're out here in the Appalachian Mountains in a pine grove at 2,700 feet in the Appalachian Mountains. And today we've found a very rare plant, right? Mm -hmm that I have actually never seen before. I've heard about it. I've seen its uh, closely related species, the uh, Indian pipe or ghost pipe, but this is the first time that we have found pine sap. And, and I found a stand of it the other day and I came back today to film it and the deer have eaten probably, what, about 80% of them. And Henry's showing us one of the, uh, the tops of the flowers that have been nipped off by the deer. So today's episode is about a rare plant that has no leaves, no stem, no chlorophyll, and is 100% parasitic on mycorrhizal fungi. It's a fascinating story, so stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. So this is really a kind of complicated story and it's difficult to explain this whole life cycle of this amazing, amazing plant. So the part we're actually seeing here on the pine sap is just the floral part of the plant. The plant actually lives underground its whole life and the only time we're aware of it is when these flowers come up above the ground. So this part of the plant is only the flower. And as you can see, it doesn't have a stem, it doesn't have leaves, it just has these flowers. Pine sap is closely related to ghost pipe or Indian pipe. And I've done a very detailed explanation of that plant in another video if you'd like to see it sometime. Both ghost pipe and pine sap are in the genus called monotropa. Mono means one, tropa means nutrition or, or feeding. And so this is one nutrition. And what that name means is that they're both parasitic on mycorrhizal fungi that are associated with tree roots. They're 100% parasitic. They have to get their nutrition from outside source because they don't do all their photosynthesis like other flowering plants. Ghost pipe, scientific name, is Monotropa uniflora. And uniflora means one flower. And so on a ghost pipe, they have one flower on the end of their little floret stem. On pine sap, they have multiple flowers on the end. The scientific name of pine sap is Monotropa hypopides. And hypopides means associated with pine trees, as you can see right here. We've got pine trees all around us here, don't we, Henry? Uh-huh. So pine sap and ghost pipe are both mycotropic or mycoheterotrophic plants, meaning that they feed on the mycorrhizal fungi in the soil. What are mycorrhizal fungi? Well, mycorrhizal fungi are fungi that are associated with tree roots that have evolved with trees over millions of years in a symbiotic, mutualistic kind of relationship. The mycorrhizal fungi help the trees by intertwining with their root hairs and increasing the surface area available for both absorption of water and for minerals. The tree, in turn, gives back to the mycorrhizal for their assistance sugars and starches produced by photosynthesis high in the leaves of the tree. So it's a very perfect mutualistic relationship where both benefit. Now comes enters in pine sap. Pine sap is a thief. Pine sap steals from the tree and the fungus, but from the tree indirectly. So the pine sap roots intertwine with the mycorrhizal fungi, uh, hypha, and steal nutrition from theirs. So they're stealing 
starches and sugars from the fungus so that it can grow. And it indirectly took those from the tree because that's the stuff that the tree shared with it. So you can see that pine sap is really a thief. It's stealing from the mycelia and it's a one-way relationship. So it's parasitic because the, the pine sap plant is benefiting from this symbiotic relationship, but it's not giving anything back to the, to, to the fungus. So it's an amazing flower. Um, we're kind of upset here uh, about the deer. Uh, what have the deer been doing to these plants? The deer have been eating all of them, every single They've been plant. eating all of them. We had this huge stand here. And what do you think I should do, Henry, um, so that I can photograph and see these and uh, uh, some more? Put cages around them and maybe have some uh, deer hunting parties to, yeah. to make to control the amount of deer in the area. Yeah. So Henry no, said we ought to. Anymore. Yeah. So Henry said, you know, we, we should cage these, and and I am going to come back and cage them to protect them, um, and give them a chance to to go to seed. And he's also suggesting, well, maybe we need to increase the the uh, hunting of deer here because the population locally is really high. They are destroying the understory layer. They're eating all sorts of uh, rare plants. They wiped out my native population of pink lady slippers. It's really, to me, getting to a breaking point. Thanks for watching. Uh, this episode of Nature at Your Door. And remember, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. So thanks again. Let's say it together for watching this episode, Nature at Your Door. Nature at your door.